Hello everybody and welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is Alan Paul and we're doing the permadeath. Uh, incredible challenge, extreme permadeath, uh, all rules. It's basically the Beeble Bump version of it as I like to call it. So you're a fugitive on the loose, you're trying to avoid the authorities and we're trying to either find a crash ship or find a trader that can drop next to us. And oh, platforms are off limits here folks. So we're continuing on with yet another episode. So let's see how well we can do here. So we're heading in a northerly direction, kind of a north-northeast direction here. Uh, and we're looking for as much as we can get. We have acquired so much in the way of materials that we're doing pretty darn good. We've got about 10 million in credits worth, uh, as far as value is concerned, alone. We're going to do the best we can at this here, so we'll see what happens. Okay, let's check out the damaged machinery and see what we got in here. Just nanites. Okay, and do we have any... Yep, there is. Let's go ahead and grab this while we're here. No, it's not going to let me grab it, is it? Let's see if we tag it, if it'll let me grab it. Nope. Alright, so we're going to we're gonna dig for that one. There we go. Because... There we go. We can always use more. Okay, back to the north. So we found that. We're going to keep looking around us because we're getting we're pretty good in finding certain buildings like I've been finding drop pods like crazy and I can't get over it it's really really strange we actually want to head more this direction so we'll see what happens here and we're not finding too many upgrades I found upgrades for my um, multi-tool but not for anything else There we go. Some exposed technology there. And what do you got for me? Some more nanites. Okay, good. And let's go ahead and get rid of that, because we don't need that anymore. That leaves us one spot available in inventory, so it looks like we got nine stacks of these things. Good grief. It's getting to a point where, you know, we maybe should stop at this point. I'm trying to hit the wrong button here. Yeah, I think we need to stop gathering. And actually look for more buildings at this point. We should just start only running. Because if we can get a trader land next to us, we'll have plenty of inventory space at that point, even if we can't afford to buy their specific ship. But with 10 million, I'm hoping that whatever lands near us will be good. Now, so again, somebody pointed out in another video that, hey, you know, Beeble Bum actually, when he found a crash ship, he traded it because it was an even Steven swap, and he made no money on it. He neither made... <sighs> Lo and behold, we have a trader landing. Please tell me the... Pilot can exit his vehicle. We might have gotten fortunate here. I don't... Yes! Yes, yes, yes. This might be it here. At least the start, anyway. Let's offer to trade first. Uh, let's see here. Salvage data. Yeah. Just emptied out my inventory right there. Excellent. Uh, drop down. Anything else? Anything else? I think that's everything in my inventory, which is 9.2 million. Look at that, 9.3. He, he didn't give me the best pricing on everything. Uh, I don't have any enough nanites to buy anything he has. But the good news is I think I've got enough to buy his ship. It 
it's a C-class, it should be well within my range. Yeah, so I'm not going to exchange. Okay, we're not. We're going to avoid that this time. So we're just going to buy it, and we definitely have enough money to buy the ship. So, fabulous. Let's go ahead and do it. We now ourselves have ourselves a starship, and this is now mine. Son of a geck. Oh, man, it's the name of the ship, Son of the Geck. What do you know? That's going to be a very funny thing to be bringing up all the time. Look at that. Okay, and it's an Explorer class, which... Oh, it's expert version, too. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Nice. All right, all right. I'm a little happier about this, too. Especially as we... It's, uh, you know, we just passed May the 4th. So, And if I haven't said it to you, folks, May the 4th be with you. By all means, you know, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. All right, so we got some decent shields. Launch thrusters. We don't have any boosted technology here, so we're going to make do with what we've got. Okay. All right. All right. We're okay. And what's in our suit? Let's move some stuff over. I don't need the chromatic metal in my main inventory here. Put that over there, too. And that goes over there as well. Okay, good. Inventory is a little bit more alleviated. All right. So what do we need? We're okay on ferrite. We could use some more carbon. But we have condensed carbon, so we're not hurting for anything. We definitely need more... We need some warp cells. And it takes 25 chromatic metal. We could use more chromatic metal. So I'm not going to make... Now, I don't have any launch fuel with me. How much, is it, how much does that cost? Let me see how much that costs to make. Yeah, we can't even make it. To hydrogen. And one metal plate. Okay. So... Let's see. We got plenty of ferrite. Let's make two of those. And we'll make two of those. So we have them. Good. Uh, that goes in the ship. Um, let me see. And we can make a warp cell. But we need... Uh, I need some, some stuff. I need stuff. So we're going to exit real quick. And let's hope that we have some copper nearby can't believe we ended up here. This is fantastic. So no crash ships or anything nearby, but uh, let's see. We got some dioxide, which I could always use more of. Magnetized ferrite I can use some of. Do we have any dangerous plants near me that can kill me whilst I'm making my way back to the ship? You. You're dying right away. Goodbye. Don't want you around anymore. Okay. So let's get some resources. We did this last time, and we ended up killing ourselves because of the stupidity of it all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Yeah, I'll take that. We made close to 10 million, so we should get the, yeah, get the big one here. There we go. Got the top one. That's done with. All right, more carbon. All right, how are we doing? Decent amount of carbon. We're going to need more carbon to make our base when we get one. How are we doing? 200. All right. That's pretty good. Two eighty-three. Okay, we'll stop there. Uh, we have. Where'd it go? Dioxide's five hundred blocks away there. Oh, we got some right in front of us. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna gather up extra of this, so I can carry it in my inventory. Much of this as we can get, because this is very handy stuff. So, hey, this was a great start to this episode. I'm glad I continued playing for the day, because we are in good shape now. Again, I've got to be careful, not get ahead of myself. Don't want to tick off anybody. We have 5 million in credits, 
So once we get to a space station in with a solar ship, hmm, yeah, that's going to take some doing, ain't it? So we got to get ourselves a solar ship. That's going to be the next thing. I'm going to get about 350 of this stuff. Because most of it is going to be on my ship rather than my own and personal inventory. And I need some copper. There we go. That's good. Uh, copper right in front of me. Again. Let's be careful. Getting a little gun shy now, as you can see. Trying to be careful. So we're going to need a lot of chromatic metal going forward. So we want to do this as quickly as possible and get as much of this as possible. The more chromatic metal we have, the better. Does this sound really familiar? Like the last time I went through all this? Now I just got to survive getting back to my ship, right? I want to make some good hyperdrive modules. I'd love to get some storm crystals, but I'm, I think I'm a little too green to get to one of those dangerous planets just yet. Alright, looks like we're about to run out of fuel. Five minutes into this and we had a trader drop in on me. I love it. Now I just need a few hundred of this right now. We'll need a little bit to take care of a base computer and we'll need most of it to do warp cells. We're going to need at least four, I think, to get a full charge on our hyperdrive. Yeah, I want all this deposit, in case you're wondering. Like, I'm not messing around this time. Okay, I think we got it all. I think. There. Alright. Where is my ship? You are over... There. No, yes, yes, no, yes. Right there. Okay. Switch to mining beam. And watch your terrain. No more sack venom. Last thing I need is some sack venom smacking me around. Stabby, stabby. Okay. Like you. Done. Oh, 
All right. Made it back to our ship, it looks like. So we're going to put a little grouping in there. There's our copper. There it is. Let's get in the ship for a little bit. Check our inventory and see what we got. So we got a good amount of copper here. Okay, I'm going to put you in our ship. Actually, while we're here, let's get everybody charged up to where they need to be. Okay, so now we can keep that in our inventory, so that's good. Alright, good deal. Let's get you up to snuff. Okay. All right. Excellent. The son of the geck. I love it. You know. There we go. Just because it's funny. Okay, where'd you go? Copper. Okay, so how much we have left? 45. Good. And this will give us plenty of that. So let's make those warp cells while we're thinking of it. Uh, we'll need a couple of these. I'm going to need more ferrite, aren't I? Yeah, I need more chromatic metal. And more ferrite dust. So let's get some ferrite dust, I guess. Let's get away from him because he doesn't like me. Right, so we'll make some of those guys, and let's see if we can get off this rock, this planet. Hey guys, I took your guys' uh, ship. Sorry. Ah, there we go. And we're going to make plenty of these guys, if we can. Oh, what do you know? Magnetized ferret. Which we can use some of. And looks like it uses oxygen to make that too. Okay, let's get back to our thing over here. Refiner. First of all, we're going to take this and put it in our starship. We're going to add more, not sodium, copper to you and get you going. Let's make one more of those, and we're going to make four of those. And that only gets us 67%, huh? Hmm. Okay. That's going to be fun. Need more ferrite dust. Okay. Need rocks. So that's one thing we're going to need a lot of. We're going to need a lot of ferrite. So we should have a f almost a full charge on our on our ship, as far as our oh, our uh, what do you call it is concerned, our hyperdrive. There 
we go. Okay. All right. So what do we got? Put you down here. Stick you over on the side. Make one more cell. Let's drop it in. All right, that gets us to 100. Okay. So we need some more ferrite to make more of that stuff. So let's go ahead and get going. Hopefully it does not get us into a predicament. Uh, control one that. There we go. Hopefully we don't blast off into the rock face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a save point here. So just in case it gets us buried in there and we can't get out. Nope, looks like we're in good shape. All right. Let's just get a little further away. I don't want any uh, sentinels around when I'm doing this. Uh, what about the top of these rocks? Do they have little rocks on them? Oh, yeah, they do. That didn't give us a whole lot, but... See how we did. Okay, we can make one more hypercell. Excellent. I'll leave that in there for backup. And it looks like we're in good shape. Now, according to this, we've got a ship this way, but that's to my south. You know what that is? That's my crash ship, so I'm going to ignore that. All right, let's get off this rock. And I'm not going to use my pulse drive. I'm going to try to save the energy from that. So I need uranium. I need pyrite. Now we could have turned the gold into pyrite. That's one thing we could have done, but we are in not in a position to be able to do that. Let's see what planets we have in the system here. See if I can check them out. It looks like we're going to have to get away from the system here. Oh, what's this? Let's just go this way just a little bit. All right. Uh, desert planet. We got copper. We got pyrite there, so that's good. Seven hundred nineteen thousand units away. That means it'll be a hot planet, and I have the right resources to be able to survive that planet very easily. Let's go around to the other side of this one and check out the planets on the other side. Yeah, that should be good. First, you, red planet. What do you got? Very far away. Copper, Fecium, Cobalt, Reeking Planet. Uh, you look like... Scaly. Copper, Gold, and Silver. And... Another barren one. Copper, Pyrite, and Silver. We're not finding any Uranium anywhere. We need Tritium, so we're going to go ahead and... Get a little closer to these guys. Okay. Tritium over here. Okay, we'll take that. I have no idea what's in there. Yeah, more tritium. A lot more tritium. That's good. All right, so let's look, going back to planets here. It looks like there are at least four planets in the system. That one, it looks like, might be our best option right now to get some things that we need. We're not going to get uranium, which kind of sucks. 
So there's one, and there's two more there, and we've checked them all out. Okay, and we can't go to the space station. So we're going to go to this planet over here first, because I want pyrite. Um, or... Let's go look for... We need a pirate system, correct? Correct. Let's take a look and see if there's any nearby. Hmm. Get by Keen. A lot of systems we won't be able to go to, but... We can usually tell by looking at them whether they're a pirate system or not. Because that's where we need to go. Uh, how come I get the feeling this is going to take a little bit? Huh. Oh, hello. Yeah, right in front of me. We got abandoned systems, so we can go to an abandoned system and see if we can find what we need. I know they're out of jump range. I don't need to know that. Let me try something here real quick. Because we should be able to see whether they're a pirate system right away. Without the economy scanner and without the combat scanner. You all have the ability to pause the video. I cannot pause myself too much, anyway. Oh, wait. Dissonant, huh? Interesting. I thought a little s skull and crossbones appeared, or a little skull appeared whenever you had a pirate system, but maybe they removed that? You all know what I'm talking about. Why is this so hard to find? Interesting. I don't even mind it being out of jump range. I can figure out a way to get there. Okay, this is getting kind of ridiculous. I th thought that that was pretty abundantly clear unless they've removed it now and you can't see it anymore. That would kind of stink. All right, so it looks like we are in bad shape as far as that's concerned and I don't think we can get around that. Well, crud. Let's just go into a different area real quick and just take a look around because I am could swear pirate system showed up with just let me get rid of that again. Just a pirate emblem. Next to either the name of the system or and I'm not seeing it anymore. So this is going to be very, very difficult now. Plenty of dissonant systems, huh? Let me get myself reoriented. Okay. So I think what we're going to have to do here 
is choose a system and just go and see what happens. So let's we'll start right here. I'm going to go to this Gex system over here and just hope for the best for now. We're already at the half hour mark. I'm sorry to waste so much time on that, but I could swear you could always see the, um, the particles next to the system name. Now I'm beginning to wonder. Okay. Check out some planets while we're here. Again, hot planets are not going to be bad. See, that has uranium, and that's worth it to me. 919,000 away. We're going to ignore the communication, just so you know, because that's getting the main storyline started. Poisonous. What about you? Alright, you know what? I'm going to listen to it because it's in my way and I can't see anything. I should not have answered. I'm sorry. I was trying to click away. Okay. Where was I? Abandoned moon. Okay, there's another planet on the other side of that. Okay, let's check that planet out. Uh, oh, I hate when that happens. Okay, that's a toxic planet. That's abandoned. We already checked that one out. Was that cold, I think? Marshy. And that is, I think, our planet of choice, because we need the uranium. So we're going to head there. So uranium will help in place of other items, like launch fuel. So that'll help for that. And then we also need pyrite. Which we can get gold for, and we can, you know... Turn that into pyrite. Because we need that to recharge our pulse engine. We can use tritium, and obviously we can get that from asteroid fields and stuff like that. But uh, Let me see. It doesn't say anything about the sentinels here, so that's good. Let's bring it in. So this one's going to run a little bit over as well while we get some of the things we need. I gotta figure out if we can actually install an economy scanner, but I don't think we can learn one. So I gotta see what the rule is. Oh, it's one of these planets. Oh, good grief. Just, just what I need. Alright. I'd like to try to... find some place to land that has a landing pad. Now don't forget, we can also find another crashed ship, or a crashed ship, if you will. Yeah, you're useless to me. I hate those things. Unreal. Well, hate's a strong word. I don't like them very much at all. Alright, that is a landing platform. We are not allowed to land in a landing platform, unfortunately. But what I do want to do is take a look around. You know what I'm not seeing? I'm not seeing a whole lot of ships around here. Okay. Let's go out here and just land. We're just going to have to get used to the fact that we're going to be fighting crap all over this stupid planet. As long as there's nothing up here, we should be able to land here. Yep, there's our... Resident Worm. Alright, let's see. We've got... 
Really? Copper? Come on. Copper. Magnetized. Magnetized. I need uranium, please. There we go. We found some uranium. Any down here? No. It's the closest one, huh? Uranium 302. Looks like it's right on the other side of him. <laughs> oh, that's probably a pretty good thing to use, but... Oh, that's great. Really? Yeah, just kick me when I'm down, please. Anything damaged? No. You know what we should do, though, while we're here... We won't get much for them. We will get money for these. Let me see how much money we'll get. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. Would you... Alright, I don't get much money for them, but at least I can, you know... There we go. How many do we have? Four out of ten? Okay. Five out of ten. Alright, where is it at? There it is. Over there. Hey, do I have I scanned you? Yeah, I can. There's another one over there. I can't seem to get to them though. Okay, he just doesn't want to leave that area. Seriously? Come on, man. What is over here? Crystals. Okay, we can't do anything with them anyway. There we go. He was just stuck. Alright. Where's our uranium? There it is. Alright. We need as much of this stuff as we can get. Doesn't seem like we're gathering it rather quickly, though. Hmm. Unfortunately. Yeah, oh, great. Not a very good deposit. But if we get a few hundred out of it, I'll at least be happy. Three hundred ought to be fine for now. We're at 150. There we go. This looks pretty good. All right. I think we got at least 300 out of this. See how much we got. Good, 350. All right, that should work for my ship. And if I ever get radiation protection, I can charge that with it. Oh, looks like we got a little bit more. That's good. I didn't know. Nice. Two. Uh, mining beam, and we're gonna head back to the ship now. See if we can avoid that uh, monstrosity over there. Oh, 
love to discover more animals here. Let's go ahead and discover some plant life. That'll give us a little extra cash. Doesn't look like we have anywhere near 10 of them, so probably some in the oceans is what I'm guessing. Not going to bother recharging here. We're almost back to the ship here, so we should be good. Okay. And we're back. Alright. So how much did we get? 430. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay. So we're good there. Uh, we do need pyrites. We need some gold. Alright. So where are we here? We're at the 40 minute mark. So let's go ahead and get to a stopping point here. I guess we're going to have to land someplace else. But I want to get out of the system here, honestly. I'm going to check one more time. So, you know, point is, is that we should be, we want to head to the center of the galaxy, galactic course. We need to be heading in this direction anyway. So let's check out planets along the way. Um, it's already telling us to go here, here. Uh, I have no idea if any of these are going to end up being pirate planets or anything like that. So let's go to the next system and just... It's only two planets at it. We'll check it out. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky at this point. But we need an economy scanner. And the only way we're going to get one is if we find uh, some kind of wreckage that gives us a reward. So I may have to start scouring planets for wrecked ships or something like that. Okay. Lifeless. It's got copper. And a freezing planet again. Copper, dioxide, and sodium. Which one does this one have? Rusted, metal, and cobalt. Both useless planets. Shall we do another jump? Let's do one more jump. Probably going to start running low on our hyperdrive soon. Re-explore. No. No, sorry. Galactic core. There we go. Galactic core. This way. Alright, so that's a dissonant system, so we can at least get ourselves maybe a better ship to start with. And maybe we can end up with some nice stuff. So why don't we check that out. Excellent. I think this is a great idea. Let's go ahead and head to the dissonant system, and then we're going to go ahead and call it. And we'll be in better shape at that point, so that'll be good. All right, so we're going to have to check out these planets and see which one we've got here. Yeah, get out of there. All right, I don't think we can see that one, unfortunately. We can check this one out. Flourishing copper paraffinium. We can always use more paraffinium. This is a cold planet. You can tell by looking at it. Sub-zero. Activated copper. Interesting. So we might be able to find some storm crystals there. That'll be very handy. Unknown planet. Lava. Also activated copper and basalt. We can use basalt or basalt as the case may be. This might be a good system to be parked in for a little while. What about you? Lifeless. Okay, copper rust meters. Okay, up here. Why well, is one busy planet? Uh, planetary system here. Ancient bones. Okay, good. They were bones. Okay, we need to go after this one now. 
That might be the planet we're looking for. Alright. Let's check it out now. Pretty far out there. And there's our corrupted planet. Of course it is. They've got pyrite. Okay. Guess where we're headed. And we can use that to charge our pulse engine. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. So this is not a pirate system, as we are already aware. At least we'll find out here in a moment. Let's see. Well, it doesn't look like it. And we'll go ahead and find a place to land, and we'll go ahead and call this episode. Uh, anomaly. I'm going to go ahead and check it out and see what we got. Holy crap, the black hole. I would love to go through that, because you know taking that black hole will get us to the center quicker. I wonder if it'll stay out here. Crap. I really need to hit this corrupted planet. I've never come across a black hole like that before. Very interesting. We'll have to think about that. If we ever have that happen again. But I really want to end up here and I want to get a halfway decent ship. One that can hover. And I can keep that in my inventory. And remember, you know, if we get to a, a, a sentinel system, pardon me, a, a pirate system where we can sell these ships, we can make some money too. So the more ships I can get my hands on, the better. I can literally fill my inventory with a bunch of corrupted sentinel ships. So I may be spending a little time on this planet for a little while, guys. At least we'll find out, right? But that means fighting a lot of sentinels too while we're here. So this is going to be interesting. Wait a minute. Two ships flying overhead, okay. So let's check things out. See if there's some place to land, shall we? I already see the radiant shards. Looks like we have ourselves a unknown building here in the distance. And we're going to be doing a lot of this first person view thing. Okay, this is not a facility I can go into. Right. Alright, let's check over here. That looks like a... Yeah. Communication tower. So, question is, do these... Camps... That you can get the stuff from, do they show up as unknown buildings? Or do you just have to spy them with your little eye? Nope, it's another one. Okay. Because you know those camps are like all over the place, and so are the ships. So we should see something on our radar at some point. Let's see. How many of these transmission towers you guys need? Good grief. Okay. Corrupted Sentinel Depot. Alright, so it doesn't look like they show up easily. Oh, what do you know, a freighter? This looks like just a little camp site. But crashed freighters. Hmm. I don't know if those are off limits or not. Okay, I'm going to avoid it like the plague right now, just in case. 
So this is turning out to be a little longer than I expected. I'm sorry, folks. Hey, that's rude. It'd be great to see if those campsites actually show up. That's the thing. Oop, and I think I found a craft ship to boot. Unless that's a ship flying in, because that's a landing pad. Yep, that's just ships flying in. I can't seem to move for some reason. Yep, no crash ships. There's a trader there. Hmm. It's tempting. He's got a fighter too. Very tempting. But what can we buy from him? Really? And it might be a ship to my left. I don't know. I'm going to check that out in a moment here. This is just another site. Okay, let's go this way. Because I thought... See, another ship is popping up on my radar. And it's not those guys. It was those guys. Crud. Something I didn't check on my regular save as to whether those show up or not. It's weird. Okay, that's just a campsite. And I thought the ships would stand out on the landscape, because you know there's a lot of crash sentinel ships on the planet. Yeah, I know I'm flying low. Give me a break. Trying to figure out what is going on underneath me. Okay. Moving on. Be great if it could show up. No, it's not going to show up. Okay, I've got a funny feeling this is going to be make it very, very difficult, and I may have to just fight some sentinels and do the best I can because I don't think the campgrounds are going to show up that's tempting I mean there's a lot of unknown buildings that are showing up but Drop pod, go figure. You'd always use those. I'm tempted on grabbing the drop pod while I have it here because we're gonna come not come across those very often. Yeah, let's do that and let's take a look around. Okay. So again, this episode's gonna run the hour. First contact. Smallest planet, huh? That's good. Antimatter housing, carbon, and I need sodium nitrate, right? this. Okay. Again, 
We're going to keep putting it in our main inventory until we start getting stuff up there that's worth our while. Okay. So, let's take a look around here. Okay, those are Gravitino balls that I'm coming across. Of course they are. I should have known that. We have a dissonance, a dissonance resonator, 349 that way. So that's what we're going to have to do. So I think we're going to go ahead and add this yet again at a drop pod. Shall we? So we are on a corrupted world. We are going to get ourselves a corrupted ship and go ahead and proceed as usual. So if we can get one of those Sentinel ships, it'd be great. Um, but we're having trouble finding the campgrounds. That's something I'm going to have to look up. Uh, I really don't know if you can find the campgrounds with a regular ordinary scan or if you just have to discover them from the air or if it really requires me getting into a huge battle with a bunch of sentinels in order to get what I need. So we'll see what happens. Um, all right, we're going to end the episode here, folks. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. And, you know, I'm really sorry about the taking so long to get through this one, but I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. See you in the next episode.